Hi, welcome back to Outdoor Gear and Skills. Uh, we've got a nice sunny day here in Oregon. So you can probably hear the lawn mowers, the weed eaters going on, people getting out trying to get stuff done. So I thought this would be a great day to kind of take a break from like survival kits kind of thing and talk more about like axes and hatchets. So this is uh, a hatchet that I got at Harbor Freight. It was $7.99. We don't have sales tax in Oregon, so that makes it nice, just about eight bucks, uh, but it's Pittsburgh brand. Um, it's the you know composite handle. It's about 14 inches long. The blade's just over three inches long. So I have had this for a while. I use it inside the house a lot, uh, splitting some firewood into kindling um, and that kind of thing. So I wanted to see you know kind of what it would do outdoors i have sharpened it uh, a few times uh, i haven't sharpened it i actually this tree in front of me right here i chopped down some of these branches yesterday more on the top end uh, so we could stick them over by the chicken coop where it's getting real muddy uh, so this doesn't weigh very much i don't know the actual weight on it but it's pretty light so just wanted to see uh, like i said i haven't sharpened it for a while so i just wanted to see kind of what it would do outside you know, on, on these kinds of things here. Trying to chop this off and not drop it. Oh, I dropped it, but. So, you know, it's going through some pretty decent stuff right here. This one's pretty thick. So that's about how thick it is. Um, you know, I'm kind of swinging weird on it. I'd probably chop it on the other side, honestly. This tree's been down for uh, probably six weeks or so is when my, my wife knocked it down. I did this chunk out yesterday to kind of see what it would do. So we'll just uh, do that again right here. So it's going in pretty good. That thing's swinging pretty well. Uh, I feel like it's a good weight ratio with the weight of the handle to the, the head of the hatchet or ax. So, you know, that's doing pretty well. Obviously, if I was gonna chop this tree down, I'd wanna use a full blown ax. A lot of times you're looking at axe prices and things like that. If you go to a hardware store or Home Depot or things like that, full-blown axe, you're looking at maybe $35. Um, you know, this is gonna be for smaller use. You're not gonna hack down big old trees, but for knocking off branches, things like that, being able to take it out and split some firewood that's already cut, get it into kindling or some smaller pieces to get a fire going, um, great, I would say this is a great camping hatchet uh, to take you know, with you. It's nice and light. It came with a, a rubber sheath right there that just kept the blade uh, protected. That worked for a while and then it just kind of cut through the rubber. So that might be one thing uh, to have a, uh, a full blown sheath on it. But again, for $8, I wouldn't really expect to get one. I'm actually thinking about picking up a few more of these just to have them around in my camping gear, um, hiking gear, that kind of thing. But for $8 Harbor Freight, I would definitely give this a two thumbs up.